what we're going to look at today is how is the average speed of an object measured. And one of the things that you really need to have is you've got to have this formula, the distance or the total distance traveled divided by the total time equals your average speed. This formula you're going to want to have written down and you're probably even going to memorize it by the time we're done in order to calculate average speed. Write that in your notebook on page 70. Now here's an example for you. If Mrs. White in her fancy pants little green car with her wonderful little clock up here traveled 150 miles in two hours, what would her average speed be? So every time you do any kind of problem to calculate something for me, I want you to always write down the formula first. Distance divided by time equals average speed right over here. And then you take the numbers and the words. Those units are important. You've got to have them. 150 miles divided by two hours, and then you do the calculation, meaning or 150 divided by two equals 75, and then you write down miles divided by hours, or miles per hour. You're familiar with that unit. That's a unit you hear about in the car, okay? And those units are super important in science because if you don't have the units, then it could be 75 bananas or 75 earwigs or 75 little boys named Bob. We don't know. It's important for you to know what the units are. Without them, your answers will be wrong. So don't leave them off. I have one here that I would like you to calculate for me. If Mr. Collette flew his hot air balloon, and in my mind that hot air balloon is pink and has a unicorn on it. If he flew that hot air balloon 35 kilometers in 70 minutes, what was his average speed? Now kilometers is different than miles, but it's used to measure distance in just about every country other than the United States. If you went over to Canada, you would be measuring in kilometers. If you look at the speedometer on your parents' car, you're going to see it's gotten big numbers MPH and then little numbers KM. You can actually look at what the differences would be. Okay, check that out when you go home. Um, so here's your question. He drove, or he flew his hot air balloon 35 kilometers in 70 minutes. What was his average speed? First, I want you to write down the formula. Distance divided by time equals average speed. Then, pull out the numbers in the units. So whatever it is kilometers divided by whatever it is minutes. And in your notebook, I want you to work out this problem. Okay? And I want you to make sure you have the units. Again, you don't want to have an answer. Don't say it's 42. It's 42 what? 42 Bananas. rocks? 42 trees? 42 what? I want you to make sure that you don't forget that part. When you come to class, I'm going to be looking for this. It shouldn't be hard, but if you have questions, come see me before school. Thanks.